John McLaughlin is a political strategist and pollster with more than 40 years of experience, and he's earned a reputation for helping to win some of the toughest elections in the country and some of the toughest ones overseas. I'm well familiar with many of the works that he has done, and it's been amazing. The midterm elections are less than two weeks away, and they've got Biden big government socialists fighting for their majorities. Now, he's only one of two pollsters that I pay any attention to because he gets it right a whole lot more than not. Would you please welcome to the show a guy I really will listen to on polls, and that's John McLaughlin. Pleasure to be here. Great to have you, John. I, I have so much I want to get to with you, but let's just jump into it. If it were happening today, how would the elections turn out? Uh, the Republicans would win probably over 50 seats in the House, and they would take the Senate. By how many votes in the Senate, you think? Probably... 53. Herschel might be in a runoff in Georgia, but uh, we'd probably get 53, maybe 54 seats. Now, you're one of the few pollsters that are, that are seeing this trend in reporting, because a lot of them are saying, oh, it's too close to call. Democrats will still win the Senate. It'll be close, maybe 50-50. What are you seeing they don't see, or do they not want to see it? Well, we spend a lot of time and care in doing the surveys where we call actual people, <laughs> yeah. real voters, and we base it on previous elections when we build our models. So we don't underreport Republicans like the major media left-wing pollsters do, huh. where they undercount Republicans. So in August, when we released our nas monthly national poll, it was 45-45 Republican to Democrat. It was uh, in September, 48-44 Republican to Democrat. Just last week, we had 49 to 43. Mm. And so the generic vote for the Republicans, that's what we saw in 1994. And the difference is 65% of all Americans think the country's on the wrong track. 67% yeah. of those people blame Joe Biden. And it, what's, yeah. Including this audience, it sounds like yep. so, yeah. And, and what's really bad about it is 60% uh, think we're in a recession, yeah. in spite of what they're being told. And 67 to 26, they think the economy's getting worse, not better, because inflation's the top issue. America looks weak. Um, and this is the saddest number in the poll. When we asked voters if they were impacted by inflation, 85% of all voters said they were. 85? 47% said they've been impacted by inflation to the point that they're having trouble making, meeting basic necessities. Hmm. And this is America. And, and Joe Biden this week said, oh, it's not really that bad. It just means you're going to have to buy the store brand cereal rather than Kellogg's Raisin Bran. And I thought, when is the last time he's been shopping? <laughs> Well, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I think he took Hunter shopping in China, but that was about <laughs> it. But that was but, the line of the night, yeah, right there. Sure, but, uh, wow. But but it's 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 we're ready to go vote, and we've got just over a week to go vote, and hopefully it won't be like 2012. Remember in 2012, right? Thought Mitt Romney was going to win. Yeah. He was head of Obama in the polls. Then they stopped polling. Hurricane Sandy hits. Obama goes and hugs uh, Chris Christie, and all of a sudden, Sunday and Monday, he's ahead and he wins re-election. This time, there doesn't, I don't know what Joe Biden's going to do, but they'll, they'll pull out all the stops. It won't be pretty, but there's a lot of great candidates. Like, I'm working for two governor's candidates that are winning in deep blue states uh, or they're coming close, Bob Stefanowski in Connecticut, Lee Zeldin in New York. Yeah. And Lee Zeldin is neck and neck with Kathy Holcomb. That would be... Yes. Maybe one of the biggest races in the last 25 years. And, and we're seeing other races. This week, a lot of debates, Pennsylvania, Georgia. Mm -hmm. um, it, it seemed to, to maybe show the differences in the candidates. Was it too late? Are we too close to the election for it to matter? What's happening is this: most of the early absentee vote is trending Democrat. But there's more Democrats because the Republicans are waiting for early in-person voting, et cetera. But, um, you know, the debates are very helpful. I mean, I know Lee Zeldin, when he asked Kathy Hochul about crime, she said, I don't know why that's so important to you. I mean, it was a phenomenal line. Yeah. We got overshadowed that night because of Fetterman yeah. uh, in Pennsylvania. I mean, the Democrats should be ashamed of themselves. And But they're trying to do a Joe Biden with Fetterman. They figure it doesn't matter. He doesn't have to make appearances. But they're being exposed. And what's really wrong about this is their policies have failed. The United States is weaker. The United States, the economy, as people know, inflation's a hidden tax. Crime is a national problem. The border's out of control. There's fentanyl. And, you know, Joe Biden cannot stop the war in Ukraine. And thousands of people are dying every week. 
And it's, it's just a sad spot to be in. But the American people, the heartland of America, we're going to go vote on November 8th. And we can send them a message and basically stop all this craziness and basically go back to, I mean, your previous guest, this idea of these transgender men playing sports with girls, yeah. it doesn't make any sense to people. Yeah, it's not it does fair. not. So we get to vote. John, I hope that people, if they have to uh, swim across a river at, at uh, flood stage, will do whatever it takes to get to the polls. Let nothing keep you from it. And uh, I can't tell you how grateful I am for the work you do and for being here to share with us. You do give me hope, I will tell you that. Now, you're going to want to get connected to the latest poll news from McLaughlin and Associates. And if you want to do that, if you go to Huckabee.tv, we will show you exactly how to link to John McLaughlin and his organization. And it will be encouraging, I'm sure. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you will now. The button is just below this video and there's a little bell next to it. If you click on those, YouTube will reluctantly start letting you know when we've got a new video uploaded.